Hey guys, I'm Dan, a fraud euro NBA cards collector from Singapore. Today, we will be doing another vintage break, okay? So right here, we have the 1994-95 Topps Finers box right here. Okay, so let's open this. If this is our first time here, we do vintage as well as modern day breaks. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see more content like this. So on the cover, you can see it is basically featuring Anthony Hardaway, also known as Penny Hardaway. Let me just adjust my camera. All right. Okay, now let's get started. 1994-95, season is basically the season which Michael Jordan retired so I don't think we'll be able to get any Jordan cards I'm not too sure probably there, there are some inserts so let's have a look very retro looking packaging as you can see brilliant uncirculated seven high-tech basketball cards I got this from a local seller so Topps Finders is actually one of the brands which was very, very premium back then in the 1990s, okay? And if this is the first time here, I am a Spurs fan, David Robinson fan. I've been collecting cards when I was a teenager back in the 90s. And right now I'm getting back into the hobby because of Victor Rambanyama. So now, yeah, let's take a look. Scott Brooks from Houston Rockets. I don't have much impression of him, to be honest. But you can see the cards are still in pretty good shape. What about this? Popeye Jones. And we have Chris Moline, one of the best shooters ever. This is a beautiful card. Finest Cities Legend. And you can see every card comes with a peel off. So previously, I think, when we were in high school in Singapore, which is known as secondary school, we were thinking of whether to peel off this protective film. Mark Jackson, another great player. I'm going to put this on right here. I think we have a refractor. Derek McKee. Nice. It's a refractor. Victor Alexander and Byron Russell. As you guys know, Series 2 usually contains majority of the role players. So I was able to get this box at a very, very cheap price from a local collector because he's not collecting cards anymore. So he has a ton of 90s cards. So I'm definitely going to get more boxes from him. Okay. But this is... Oh, this is actually Series 1. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Charles Barkley. Sir Charles, one of the best players ever. And, you know, someone who has never won a ring. He's definitely one of the best player without a championship. Great card. This is beautiful. I like it. Dan Rowley, I watched him a lot last time. You know, he was a great shooter as well. A great player. El Elmore Spencer. I've got a Rodney Rogers. If I'm not wrong, this should be... His early days card. I'm not too sure was it. Because I think he was drafted quite... I think around 90s, 93. I'm not too sure. Rodney Rogers. Nice refractor. Sam Perkins. Another refractor of it. Elmore Spencer again. Terry De Heer. Not really familiar with this this role players. Chris Gatling. Andrew Lang. Victor Alexander. David Wingate. Finer Cities Legends. Quite a nice card. Terry De Heer. Doc West.
so far we have like two Hall of Famers. Hopefully we get more. Lindsay Hunter. James Worthy. Nice. Lakers legend. Chris Mills. Joe Klein. Watt Williams. He was pretty promising back then. I was also collecting his rookie cards back then. Brent Price. Oh, we've got a nice shack right here. Shaquille O'Neal. One of the most dominant centers. He is definitely one of the top centers ever. And right now it's very exciting to actually see Wemby dominating the league as well. Okay, I would just say dominating. He's playing really well as a rookie. Okay, this pack is not easy to open. So you can see these cards are 30 years old guys. 1994 to now it's basically 30 years. George Lynch, Will Purdue, a center, a great servant to the Chicago Bulls. Mark Z Books, the shortest player, I think, 5 feet 3, but very tenacious. <clears throat> very tenacious. Yep, 5 feet 3. I think Mark Z Books was an inspiration to a lot of people, that's for sure. Irvin Johnson. He was a center, I think. Yep. Cool. Spot Webb, another very inspirational player. He was like five feet seven, but he was able to dunk. So he had a tremendous vertical. Yep, great player. I like him as well. Carl Herrera, a very good role player as well. We've got a Johnson at the back, not too sure who is it. Jeff Turner. Michael Williams. Odin Polonis. We've got Sam Cassell. I like him. He was a great shooter. I watched him quite a bit in the 90s. Cool. Xavier McDaniel. Lee Mayberry. And we have KJ right here, a superb point guard. We're done with the first deck. This series is not like the best one, definitely this season. But we're getting, I'm definitely getting the 92, 93 top sliders. That is one of my favorite series when I was a teenager. So I'm definitely getting a box from that collector. I'll be able to get it below $100 USD, that's for sure, because he has a ton of cards. BJ Armstrong, point guard, I think, for Chicago Bulls back then. He was pretty famous. Chicago Bulls was very, very popular in Singapore in the 90s. Patrick Ewing, one of the best centers as, as well, and he doesn't have a championship ring. I like his fadeaway jumper. Very, very good. Mark Jackson. Anthony Mason. I think he was a power forward for the New York Knicks. If I'm not wrong. Cool. You can see the look and feel of these cuts are very, very old school. At the same time, it was pretty modern back then because of its glossy appearance. Nick Anderson Refractor right here. Vin, ba Vin Baker, I think he was like a power forward center back then. Yep, he was actually pretty good in the draft pick, I remember. Terry Potter, another great player as well.
Okay, we have Rick Smith right at the back. I was a huge fan of big big players, big centers. And Rick Smith was a 7 feet 4 center. European player, very humble guy. Was able to move well despite of his height. He had a decent career. I like him. A pretty iconic player. 7 feet 4. Huge guy. Big guy. I like him. Terry Porter. D Brown. D Brown was a very explosive player who was able to dunk very beautifully, if I remember correctly. Ronnie Sekely. We've got David Robinson. Wow. And this is a David Robinson Iron Man. It is translucent cut. Great pool. I'm a huge Robinson fan. I think I have this card. I think so. I think so. But I don't mind having another one. This is so far my favorite card. Definitely. Gorgeous. Iron Man. So I think Iron Man is basically for the numbers of number of games played back then. We've got a Greg Anthony Refractor and Byron Scott. Nice, like this Robinson Iron Man, that's for sure. We got PJ Brown at the back. I think he was from New Jersey Nets, if I'm not wrong. I can't remember, but I think so. We'll see. Yep. I can still remember him because he wasn't like the best player and he was like one of the players that you try to use if you're tr you know in your fantasy team if you have a very low budget yeah Jojo Murisan another huge player I think it was like 7 feet 6 or 7 feet 7 let's see yep incredible you know same as Manute Bo huge player but he wasn't able to move well. He was kind of slow. Brian Steve, Eldon Campbell, Mario Alley, a very great player who has played for the Rockets, has also played for the Spurs, veteran player, great shooter. Mark Z Books Refractor, I like it. I like Mark Z Books a lot. I know he's not like a like a Hall of Famer, but he was an iconic player, the shortest player, and fantastic. Really fast. We got Isaiah Ryder. If I'm not wrong, he was drafted in. Is this like his rookie card? I think so. Yeah, I think he was drafted in 1993 or 1994. I, I can't remember. Yeah, 1993. Fifth overall. Explosive player. Very nice. These cards are just super nostalgic, that's for sure. And Top Spiners was one of the brands that was actually a lot more expensive than the rest. You know, we were just buying hoops, Skybox, because those were cheaper. I think back then it was like $2 Singapore dollars per pack, $2.50 per pack, which is roughly about a dollar plus per pack. But well, Top's Finest was expensive. I think it was really expensive. Spot Web, I like him. Wow, this one is um terribly off centered. You can see it's cut diagonally. Wow, this cut is. I'm not too sure. Is this supposed to be a design? It's interesting. I'm not too sure. I, I don't think so. I think this is just cut very badly, but it's it's a very unique card, I must say. Very unique. Del Curry. Steph Curry's dad. He was a great player, but I think Steph it's really one of a kind. One of a kind. His shooting is the best ever. Michael Williams. Okay, check this out. I think this is a very common mistake, I think. Or, or is this like the right spelling? Because I've seen a lot of cuts with the Michael spelled wrongly. E and A are always like inverted. Wow, I'm 
having I'm gonna use like a wait a minute this one is tough to open and it doesn't really help when my hands are slightly sweaty there I go generally cherry comings we got Mark Z books, City Legends. This is a nice one. Lee Mayberry, Jerome Kersey. This is definitely the shape of this card is just weird, guys. Joe Dumas, Hall of Famer. He's a pretty humble guy, I would say. He's not a dirty player like some of the Detroit Pistons. You know they are pretty well known for. Bing playing dirty. Oh, we've got Karl Malone at the back. Nice. Very nice. Karl Malone, one of the best power forwards. Oh, Jeff Malone is not Karl Malone. <laughs> Andrew Lang. Rick Smith again. Nice. Antonio Davis. We've got a. Marathon Man, Mike Brown. It's like a translucent card. Gorgeous card. We've got a Sam Cassell. Refractor. That's really beautiful. Tracy Murray. Okay, we are halfway done. Very fun to open, definitely. We've got Terry Cummings right at the back. Vernon Maxwell, another good role player for the Houston Rockets. Chris Moulin, beautiful. Mark Z books. Danny Ainge, Refractor. Craig Allo. Terry Cummings. Nice. Is that Scott Brooks at the back? I think so. Baron Russell. David Wingate, John Sally, Sherman Douglas. This is quite a nice card. Refractor of Xavier McDaniel, Joe Klein, Scott Brooks. Not plenty of stars as you can see. Oh, we got Alonzo Morning. This is probably his third year card. Kevin Edwards. Sean Cam. Wow, I like him. The Rain Man. I would rate him as one of the best power forwards as well. Probably in top 15. I'm not too sure. You know, he's well known for his dunks, but I think his jumpers are were also very underrated. He was a good shooter as well. Elden Campbell. Tom Gugliotta, I think, was in was drafted in 1993, if I'm not wrong. 1992, oh, same draft year as Shaq and Alonzo Morning. Yep, this is Alonzo Morning. Alonzo Morning was like, I don't think he was 7 feet, he was like 6 feet 10 or 11. Yep, 6 feet 10. And he, he was playing as a center. And he came in in the same year as Shaq and a lot of people were comparing the both of them. As if it was like a boxing match. And Shaq was not very happy with it. So Shaq actually mentioned in one of the interviews that you know this is not a boxing match. Stanley Roberts, BJ Armstrong, Sherman Douglas, John Concat. Oh, we got a nice one. This is a Alonzo Morning Refractor. It's really beautiful. Got Jamel Mashburn. He was a very promising young player as well. Nice. Anthony Davis. Yeah, back then for this Tops Finders, I was able to get a few packs because they were too expensive and I was like only like 14 years old in 1995. So I wasn't able to afford a lot of cards so usually we buy packs from 
a local comic store. I still remember the store, but it's no longer selling. In Singapore, it's really hard to find card shops. There are tons of Pokemon card shops, but not so much on basketball cards. So it's kind of lonely to have, you know, to have this hobby in Singapore, Terry Potter. But yesterday, I actually went to a card show and I was able to meet a few collectors, you know, exchange contacts. It was really fun. I bought myself some Wemby cards there as well. Mitch Richmond, one of the best scorers in the 90s. He was always averaging among the top three in terms of scoring. Always averaging around 20, 28 points per game, 29 points per game. A very, very good scorer. A good player, I mean. Grand Long. We've got John Stockton. I think he's the all-time steals leader, I think, right now. Not too sure whether someone has surpassed his assist, but he was a tremendous player. One of the best passes ever. Very effective. Nothing fancy. His pass looked very simple, you know, not a lot of um, fancy behind the backs, but he was absolute, absolutely effective. And especially when, it, when he was playing alongside Karl Malone, it was a joy to watch both of them. Chris Moline, Alan Houston, drafted back in around 1994, I think. 1993 as well. Okay, 1993. Okay, Alan Houston. Christian Leitner, drafted the same year as Shaq and Alonso, 1992. So 1992 was actually a pretty good draft class, and he also played for the Dream Team. Last stack. I think these two, these cuts are just too fun. I usually I would just, I would just keep one pack. It's a souvenir, but this time I just open all the rest. Mark Z books. We got Jamel Meshburn. We got a nice KJ refractor. Grand Long. You can see a lot of the cuts are duplicates. But there's no way we can pull a Jordan because there's no Jordan in this this season. But in 1995 and 96, you would definitely get. Jordan. That left Shrem, one of the best European players back then. The better one. Oh, another Shaq. That's nice. But it's not a refractor. But still cool. You know, Shaq, when he was a rookie, his first year, he was explosive. He was big. But at the same time, he could dribble. He could run. He could run really fast. Kevin Willis. A very decent center back then. Not a Hall of Famer kind of um, quality but still made it to the all-star team I think at least once or twice I can't remember Kenny Anderson a great god as well and we have Del Curry we are on to our last four packs so far we haven't seen Hakeem Olajuwon we haven't seen Karl Malone so there are still some 90 stars that I hope to see in this box. Probably not in this series, I'm not too sure. D Dino Redja was also a European player. He was pretty good. Played for the Boston Celtics, if I'm not wrong. Yep, that's right. And we got Andrew Lang again. How many Andrew Langs did we pull? <laughs> Plenty of it. Chris Webber. One of the best power forwards as well. Probably top 10. Sean Bradley, 7 feet 6. Slow center, but he was a very humble guy. He was able to, I mean, clock some nice blocks. 7 feet 6. Second overall pick. Wow. Played best all-round game of rookie season with 15 points, 14 rebounds, and 5 blocks. That's pretty, that's pretty nice. Let's keep him. Joe Klein, David Benoit, 
Felton Spencer. All these are familiar names. Tyrone Hugh, another explosive player. We've got Chris Webber. It's a nice cut of Chris Webber. I think he was pick, first pick, right? Yep. First overall. Nice. Oh, there are two refractors right here. We are on to our second last pack. We've got Jeff on a side right at the back. Another great point guard, I think. Was it a point guard? I think so. Robert Horry. I think he has like seven rings. <laughs> yeah. He has moved to different teams and he admitted himself that he is a very lucky person. You know, whenever, wherever he goes, he, he wins the championship. So, yeah. Seven, seven rings up, if I'm not wrong. I'm not too sure who has more rings than him. I think Robert Parrish. Jeff on a sec. Okay. Last pack, guys. We've got another Sean Bradley at the back. Oh, Sean Kemp. Nice. Still no Olaju on. Probably he's in Series 2. I'm not too sure. Kenny Smith. Nice. Elmore Spencer. We've got a Jeff Honasek. Refractor. This is nice. Vladi Divak. A great servant to the LA Lakers. Got Sean Bradley again. So this is basically Tops Finders. I'll probably find one card and peel it off for you guys to see, okay? How about this one? It's not easy to peel. So I think back then, we didn't really peel it. Because if you peel it, you might destroy the corner. But I just want to peel one cut to show you guys. It's really fun. It's really satisfying. But you can see I'm struggling to peel it. But of course, if you want to keep the cut, it's definitely to leave the peel on. Is it still possible to peel it after so many years? Let's try. Extremely hard to peel. I might have damaged the little corner right here. Yep, once you peel it, you can see the surface looks absolutely amazing. So I'm not too sure whether it's a good idea to peel it before you send it for grading. I'm not too sure. So if you guys know, let me know down below. Okay, thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks. Goodbye.